Okay, hello, welcome back. Right, so these are my work trousers. Um, they worked out uh, initially at 41 inches waist size, and you can see um, they don't fit anymore. They just slide straight down. Um, I use a belt, still use them. This is my uh, trousers I bought about uh, six months ago as I started to lose some weight. Um, I was then on a vegan vegetarian diet, did lose a little bit, but as you can see, keto actually made a difference, a big difference. These trousers are 36 small, so I went down to a, um, a few inches. Couldn't get any further with it on a vegetarian diet, but however, uh, doing ketogenic diet, big difference. Now these trousers I'm wearing here, the MOD trousers, and the size of them uh, waist is 80 centimeters. And according to Google, that's a 32. So from 36 to uh, 32, that's four inches lost around the waist. Okay, so anyway, we all love food, don't we? Eugene loves his pizzas. This is packed out with uh, carbohydrates and fat. Together, they're not a brilliant combination because the fat will get stored along with the carbohydrates. However, my son, he burns it off straight away. I also give him a B vitamin uh, supplement because he is a vegetarian. And uh, you can see the powder on there. I try and liberally sprinkle that on there. And he loves his cheeses, which is great. What I also do is I uh, make him coffee and I'll put cream in it for a little bit of extra uh, fat. And there's nothing wrong with fat. It's how you use it in your diet. Now, coffee with cream is absolutely gorgeous. Now, he loves his honey. This is Ukrainian honey, but I'm not going to put it in a coffee with the fat. What I'll do if, uh, for instance, I need to um, make sure he doesn't get hungry for a few hours uh, is give him one of these coffees and um, a sweetener, which is non-reactive. Stevia is pretty good. Uh, it tastes disgusting, but after a while, you don't seem to notice. Right, for my coffee, this is a bulletproof coffee, which... Um, it's quite well known in the uh, keto uh, um, arena. And uh, basically, this is real coffee. And uh, this stimulates uh, digestion as well. Uh, it does give you energy. Uh, some sportsmen you'll find actually have coffee before they do a workout. Now, what I do is take a nice um, cutting of 100% fat, which is coconut oil. That gives it a sort of sweety flavor. And then I use uh, pure butter ghee. It's butter with the uh, uh, lactose stuff taken out of it. The reason I use this butter ghee, I'll use it for cooking, but what I'll do is also put some cream in it to get a slightly different flavor. So I'm loading this coffee up with fats. Some people would be absolutely terrified at this because, oh, it's fat, fat, fat. Okay, I'll put a little bit of cinnamon for uh, some flavor, and I'll, we'll also sweeten it with uh, stevia later, okay? Stevia is actually very, very light. I don't like the taste too much, but I need something. I've still got a sweet tooth. Right, so uh, I'll just quickly blend this up. Um, this is uh, it's a bit messy, as you'll probably see in a minute. I'll uh, splash it everywhere. I've not got the proper kitchen utensils, but hey, never mind. Um, what this is now is a bulletproof coffee. So if you have it in the morning, for instance, you can go um, quite a long time. And uh, the, uh, the feeling of hunger won't be there. The insulin is, is not really stimulated. Now, I've got my Land Rover Discovery mug. I'll have one of these, and that will just keep me going. Okay, it's said to give you mental clarity. Well, if you need ketosis anyway, uh, yeah, you will have mental clarity and uh, not even be hungry or think about eating food. So this is a fat which is out of animals and uh, people are terrified of it. I don't know why. I think it's because of the brainwashing we've had. Uh, my parents' generation used to scoop up fat, beef dripping, stuff like that. Never had a problem. Now, look, this is what I eat generally. I'm showing you here uh, veggies, uh, meat products and fish and cheeses. I am trying to get away from the meat and get more vegetarian. However, butter is uh, good mixed with anything along with uh, coconut oil. Okay, it's 100% fat. Butter is about 80 odd percent. Olive, uh, olive, uh, yeah, olive oil and uh, avocado oil, 100% fat. Put with salads, and of course the cheeses, which are fat and protein. You always check the labels to uh, see what's on them. And uh, halloumi, I absolutely love, and so does Eugene. 
Now, the whole idea is I'm doing 80% fat, 20% by calories protein, and uh, 5% carb. One of my least favorite fish has the most amount of fats, which uh, 23 grams per 100 gram and uh, 21 grams of protein, which is a good all-rounder because I'm looking at about 50 grams of each per meal um, in my diet. So uh, bacon, big favorite, and of course pork belly, which has a lot of fat on it. That's uh, very nice to eat. Eggs, always a good one for the diet. Um, And then, of course, this one is pork crackling. When you put it in the oven um, and heat it for 20 minutes, you get uh, crackly skin. Also, uh, things like this, chicken, the legs rather than the breast, has a bit more fat on it. And uh, basically, yeah, that's how I get my fat at the moment. I have to eat a lot of vegetables and a lot of salad. And uh, things like this, a squash has potassium in it, which is really important because I tend to lose a lot of electrolytes, um, vitamin D here in mushrooms. And of course, I eat a bag and a half of salad per day, if not more. The whole, the whole idea here is to make sure that my liver doesn't suffer too much. And uh, the fact is that also, um, I have to take a supplement as well, a potassium citrate, uh, because I lose electrolytes all the time, if you start losing electrolytes, um, which is sodium and potassium together, then you start getting things like muscle cramps and uh, twitches and the such like. So that's just precautionary. Lemons um, and apple cider vinegar I put together. It's not disgusting. It's quite a nice drink. This offsets any uric acid that I have. So uh, eating quite a lot of meaty fats. I don't want to get gout, so this helps. Two lemons a day is also a good uh, source of vitamin C. Okay, um, also the nutritional yeast, which has a lot of B vitamins in it, and uh, this helps repair the body and uh, maintain, uh, well, just health. So we're doing good there with that lot, and I feel actually quite good. I do want to get away from meats. Uh, however, avocado is a favorite with a uh, keto crowd. Now, what I hate, I find find this a lot, is I go and buy avocados and people have been squashing them to uh, feel what they're like. You get bruises in them. I try to get them like this more and let them ripen at home. Sometimes they don't ripen and they're shit. So uh, I need to find a uh, a different uh, way of getting more potassium in, of course, because that's what avocados do as well as the fat. Right, so um, I have a nice collection of uh, nuts here and seeds which have been turned into butters. I bought this off lime from Meridian and uh, basically yeah, what I have here is seeds that have been smashed up so they'll digest better. Some seeds have phytic acid in them which means that you can't digest them properly. The fat here is about 49% and it's got protein, a little bit of carbs. Also the same with almond butter, again it's been smashed up so I can digest it better. Nuts and seeds are very hard on the stomach, or, and if you're not used to it, so are, so are fats. So basically, you can find 100% peanut butter, for instance. This does have carbs in it, but it has fiber as well. The carbs are offset by the fiber, so when I look at the net carbohydrates, that's pretty good. And these are getting quite cheap now. Seaweed's always a good thing to have. This happens to be our, our local delicacy, which is samphire. comes out in July and August. Um, cheeses as well, um, not so much this. If I made a pizza out of a cauliflower and mozzarella cheese, it'd be better. Um, yeah, but this is uh, fat, okay, and uh, doesn't seem to do any harm. Uh, I'd say that my skin, um, not only on my hands because they tend to suffer, but all over my body is getting better, but especially my hands, they heal so quickly and the skin has got, uh, it's not dry, which is incredible. So I'd say the keto diet has a lot of benefits.